great, great, great grandfather uh, healed from uh, just on the street that you're saying now. That's really it in Moneygall. That's really what it entails. One street, uh, there's a pub, there's a corner shop basically and that's it but a lot of more shops have opened in the last few weeks selling a lot of souvenirs and things like that so really as you can see a lot of people on the street the residents 300 residents live in money gall they've all got special tickets but people from the surrounding area have also been invited so i understand there's around 3000 people in the village this afternoon waiting for the president to arrive and he's actually going to visit his ancestral home, is he, and meet the people that live there now? Yes, I believe he is. The home is literally, it's just on this street. Um, it's a little bit off in the distance from what we can see now, but uh, I understand he will see that for himself. He will also meet uh, someone who lives in the village, a, a man called Henry Healy, who believes he is an eighth cousin to the president. This looks like the cavalcade now coming onto the main street. And we're just waiting for them to take their first steps onto the streets of Moneygall, the President and the First Lady. There we go. <laughs> He's come. There he is meeting some of the local dignitaries, including Henry Healy, the man I was telling you about. Henry is just the man on the left without any of the, the chains. He, as I say, has traced his ancestry back and he is an eighth cousin to the president. <laughs> they look like they're getting on. And a hug from the First Lady as well for the cousin. And thankfully the sun has come out because Moneygall has been battling with the elements all morning and early afternoon and it seems to have dried up just as the President and the First Lady have arrived. Henry Healy was really excited about having the opportunity to meet his distant cousin, as you can imagine. He has been a real, become a real celebrity in his own right within the area. In an
as we can see the president, the first lady, they're taking a lot of time trying to shake as many hands as possible on the main street of Moneygall. All these people, there's 3,000 or so on the street. 300 of them are the residents of Moneygall and the rest have come from the surrounding area. They all had special tickets to allow them through the massive security cordon that is in place around Moneygall and has been for the last couple of days. And they've been waiting ever so patiently today through really torrential rain, but thankfully the sun has come out for this 